Dig and Doug were on their way to a roadworks site. Mr McAdam's got a special job for us, said Doug, and it's top secret. How do you know it's top secret, asked Dig. Because we can't start the job until everyone else has gone home, he said. Oh, that sounds exciting, said Dig. It certainly was a busy sight. I don't think this is a very good place to stop, shouted Dig. Right, shouted Doug. I'll try over there. Sorry, shouted Dig and Doug. When they'd safely parked the truck, Mr McAdam, the site manager, came to greet them. Hello, you two. All ready for your special job. With all these trucks, what I need is a couple of night watchmen. Uh, when you say night watchmen, do you mean sort of to keep watch? Sort of at night? Asked Dig. Aye, that's it. You've got it. When, uh, when no one's around, you mean? And it's, uh, dark, said Dig. Not just dark, Dig. Extremely dark, said Doug. Aye, that's it, said Mr McAdam. I knew you'd know exactly what I meant. Dig and Doug didn't like the sound of that at all. And anyway, where would they sleep? Where would we sleep? They asked, hoping it was something Mr McAdam hadn't thought of. But before he could answer, Daisy and Farmer Stubble appeared. I've got it! Where do you want it, Mr McAdam? Ah, good. Down here. And before Dig and Doug knew what was happening... There you are. Your own little caravan. Hello, Dig. Hi, Uncle Doug. You'll be nice and cosy in there. Oh, you certainly will, said Mr Stubble. Especially on a cold, dark night when there's no one about. Dig and Doug were about to say that it was the nicest caravan they'd ever seen, but sadly they couldn't stay because, stupidly, they hadn't got their pyjamas and toothbrushes. When Mrs Stubble appeared... I've got them! She said. Dig and Doug. Pyjamas, toothbrushes and clean underwear. Oh! They'll come in handy, said Daisy. Oh, they will, chuckled Mr McAdam, especially if it's dark and cold and there's no one about. There was no way out of it. Dig and Doug were there for the night. So, when Mr McAdam had unhooked the caravan and Daisy and Mrs Stubble had said they'd come back later with some supper, Dig and Doug were left on their own. Right said Doug. Let's see what it's like inside. It's nice up this end, said Dig. It's nice up this end, said Doug. It's nicer up this end than it is up that. No, it's nicer up this end, I reckon. Soon they realised that something was wrong. Something's wrong, I reckon. Walk up the other end, Dig, he shouted. Right, said Dig. Ow! Sorry! I've got an idea, said Dig. If we put a suitcase under each end, it won't keep tipping up. Right, said Doug. Now you, Doug, shouted Dig. Good. We can go inside now and unpack. Right, said Dig. Just a minute, said Doug. How can we unpack our cases if they're under the caravan? Uh-oh. Then Doug had an idea. And at 
last, they were ready to unpack. Dig and Doug were very tired. <sighs> night, night, Doug. Night, night, Dig. Sleep tight, Doug. Sleep tight, Dig. Don't let the bugs bite. And they were soon fast asleep. <laughs> it's only an owl, Dig, said Doug. Course it is, Doug, said Dig. Someone had better take a look, said Doug. Right, said Dig. And seen as how we're night watchmen, it better be one of us. Right, said Doug. You do that while I stay here. Why don't I stay here while you take a look? You're bigger than me. You scare them, said Doug. You're smaller than me. They won't see you, said Dig. In the end, they decided to stick together. The trucks stood like giant creatures. <gasps> Don't much look like trucks, do they? More like monsters, said Dig. Looking down at us. And they both decided it was time to get back to the caravan. I'm sure it was just an owl we heard, said Dig. Course it was, said Doug. And they turned out the light again and went to sleep. <coughs> Yoo -hoo. What was that? said Dig. Yoo -hoo. And this time, they were sure that something was out there. Hello, said Doug. Is anyone out here? said Dig. There was no reply. You could go that way, and I'll go this, said Doug. Right, said Dig. And if I see anything, I'll... Shout! Off they went. But no sooner were they out of sight... <gasps> Did you hear something? asked Doug. Yes, replied Dig. Did you? Yes, replied Doug. Ah, don't do that, Doug! It wasn't me, it was you! No, it wasn't! Yes, it was! Dig and Doug were in such a state they didn't know what to do. But eventually they calmed down, agreed that it was only an owl, and they went back inside. Ah! Wait for me, Doug! Wait for me! Poor old Dig and Duck. Whatever could have been waiting for them inside. Yoo-hoo! cried Mrs Stubble. Uncle Doug! shouted Daisy. It's only us. We brought some supper for you.
Yes.